Hi, I'm Melinda with Martin Publishing Services, and today I'm going to show you how I work smarter, not harder. This project is I'm Great Every Day, a guided journal for creating a better self. It's by Linda Callahan, and we are working on getting this ready for a March 2021 release date. And this book is a two-part journal. So part of it is dedicated to educating you and sharing uh, Linda's experiences with you, how she practices I'm great every day. And then the other part of the book is journaling to help you be I'm great every day as well. So I'm great every day is an acronym uh, for intention, meditation, gratitude, reading, exercise, affirmations, and time for self-care. So that is, we use this acronym on worksheets inside the book. Now, before Linda connected with me, she had already assembled her book. Like when she was working on it, she wanted to go ahead and put some aesthetic to it so that it helped her with her planning. However, a lot of what she did was unnecessary. It, it was maybe necessary for her as the author, but it's not necessary when you're working with a book designer. What I usually, I mean, what I always do, not usually, is when I import the manuscript into Microsoft Word, I have some scripts. I mean, when I import, import the manuscript into Adobe InDesign, I have scripts that I run that clean up the Word file and it just retains the basics of what I need and discards the rest, basically. So she has a, around 60, I think she has 60 journaling pages that there, there are two page journal entry. The page that has the quote at the top is always going to start on the left and then it's going to end on the right with rate your day. The only information on this spread that is unique to each journal entry are these three lines right here. Sometimes more lines if it's a longer quote. But basically, this is the only thing that changes on each spread. Everything else stays the same. So as a, an editorial designer that works with Adobe InDesign, what I what I do is utilize the amazing tools that Adobe has created for me. Uh, one of the, the big challenges with being a self-taught designer is, well, first, the circle was small, right? Like, how to find other book designers, how to find other book designers that will talk to you, and how to find other book designers that can relate to you and work at your level or explain to you at your level. But... I've designed hundreds of books by now. I've worked on lots of journals. I have found some great communities. I've developed a great community. And I'm thankful for the resources available to me if I spend the time to find them. So if you found this video, this is great. Like This is something, if somebody had showed me this way back 10 years ago, I'd have been like, that's pretty amazing. <laughs> but I definitely did a lot of things the hard way and the long way, but I will never forget. I will never forget. Uh, like, remember when I used to do things the long way? But I don't anymore. So now I'm working smarter, not harder by using Adobe's InDesign's master pages. So the first thing I had to do was figure out how I wanted to use the master page, you know, uh, determine what, what are the static elements versus what are the changing elements? What is the best layout? You know, what's the variance in those elements that change? What's the, what's the word count variance of those, um, of the words that change, the sections that change, and then I design my master page based on those max parameters. So I also had to set up paragraph styles and character styles, object styles, and text frame styles. If you're not familiar with what those are and you use InDesign, I want to encourage you to go find some resources on that because if you're not using 
styles, then you're not using InDesign correctly. You're definitely not using it to its full potential and I can guarantee you, you're working harder, not smarter. So, you know, it's like when you know better, you do better, hopefully. That's my goal anyway, is to keep learning and to keep getting better. <laughs> I mean, who wants to be in the middle? Not me. Okay, so here is our master page that I've set up with all of the repeat or all of the static elements of her journal page. And then I've added the design to it as well. So we've got our mandalas in the corner. Those are object styles. We have our text frames here and here. See up here it says text frame. And then when I click here, it says mandala because I named that object style. And then inside, we have the different paragraph styles. See, this is a line paragraph style uh, that is set uh, so that when I hit the tab key, it I set my tab to the right stop, and then I give it the underscore, and it creates a line for me. And I want to... Um, give a huge shout out to Ariel Walden. He is at id-extras.com. Um, he was one of the ones that were just helpful, you know. He, he didn't shame me or make me feel stupid. He was like, oh, okay, you know, do it this way. And um, he really reflects my heart for helping others. So I'm a huge supporter of his. I'm going to talk more about um, the items I purchased from him that helped my my business uh, work smarter, not harder, uh, on a separate video. I'm, I'm going to do a whole video just on the amazing thing he has created or the scripts he has created. So we have this is a paragraph style uh, with uh, character styles also, like intention, meditation, gratitude, reading, those are character styles built into a paragraph style. <laughs> okay, and then like the how would you rate today? Like I used my tabs. I, I like the rate has, and this is actually stuff you can do in Word, but people just don't know. They just don't know. So I mean, I used to be a, an instructor for the Microsoft Office Suite. So granted, I do know more than the average person, but I made it a point to know more than the average person. I want to know more than the average person because I'm not average. Like I don't do good in the middle. I, you know what? And I'm a middle child <laughs> and all of my siblings, like six siblings, everybody's amazing. So uh, I'm sure there's uh, some good things you can pick from me on the psychology side. All right, so my rate style, I'm inside my paragraph style called rate. And if I go to my tabs, like here's all the tabs I set up that when I hit tab, and I could have made these, these are all right stop tabs. I easily could have made them center tabs or left tabs. I just chose a, a, a right stop tab. And then so here's my tab increments. Boom, 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 boom. Okay, so it's, you don't want to use spaces like there's very few occasions I can think where you actually want to use space, 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 space. <laughs> uh, there's other ways around that, you know, ways that are more easily controlled that if the font changes or if there's a top level formatting change, it's easier to control tab marks than space, 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 space. <laughs> okay. Now, so you're like, all right, well, where does the um, where does the quote go? Where does the uh, the rest of the text go? So on my master page, we have these two text frames. Let me turn everything else. I'll just turn it off as I go. Okay, so these two text frames are my static um, text elements. These two up here are my um, mandala files if you look you can see it's an it's an Adobe Illustrator file so you can place files you don't have to design an AI export out to JPEG place the JPEG no you can just skip that middleman process and place the Adobe Illustrator file now you have to know how to save it correctly in the settings and whatever 
but again if you're if you're not familiar with that and you use InDesign please look up some resources on placing um, other file types into your InDesign document because I can like go to my links panel and then I can right click that or yeah and then edit original and it will open it up for me in Illustrator I make my change come back here update the link bam it's done okay so back to my layers all right so here is my text frame for quote and here is my text frame for body now these are primary text frames uh, my quote and my body and you see they're threaded together so when I apply this master page to my content it, it's really cool because it's going to just pop everything into place it is kind of like the fairy magic of InDesign <clears throat> okay so I'm gonna go here go to the first one at page 70 so I can't remember if I already said like I have these set up at, these are their own paragraph styles the quote that starts the new uh, journal entry is its own paragraph style the quote reference is its own paragraph style and then the ref the lead-in reflection question is its own paragraph style as well all right so what I'm gonna do is I'm going to come up here to my master page right click do apply master pages to and then give it my page range and then hit OK and then everything pops into place for all of those pages see I mean it's really cool so the alternative would be I, I, there's actually a lot of different alternatives because people who don't know how to use the software they get very creative um, what do they say uh, necessity is the mother of invention <laughs> and so the crazy things people do to get the result at the at the visual level but they don't know how to make that happen at the technical level oh my god like they are wasting so much time and not just not just time not just their time when it's designed but this is why you can't really trust everybody who charges by the hour I prefer to charge by the project like I quote the whole project I make sure I know what I'm getting myself into I already know what your expectations are um, what your budget is what we need to do to make your expectations meet your budget if we need to raise or lower one of the other I definitely work at a, a more advanced level um, because of just my background of customer management project management that I feel a lot of other designers that I know don't have that's not to say they can't get them but a lot of them don't want to work at this level they're comfortable doing the things they do and it takes a lot of time to learn how to do it correctly and sometimes you just get caught up in so many projects that you don't have the time to stop and and retrain yourself I, I get it I, I understand and that's why I'm helping trying to help whom I can by making these videos um, like hopefully you're on the beginning of your journey and uh, this is really gonna save you a lot of frustration okay so now everything's already applied I'm gonna let me turn off all my marks so you can actually see what's going on here um, I wanted to find I know there is I, I, I'm, I saved I knew I was gonna have to make a correction or an adjustment so I saved it so I could show you how this works let me just find okay like here's one I did not apply the correct paragraph style to so it didn't go to its box okay now when I apply the correct paragraph style which I still haven't done typesetting so yes there's things like this is you, we don't want the last a single word you know a short word on a line by itself I'll deal with that later you can actually build a grep style into your paragraph style that controls that so that is what I'll do okay like this doesn't have okay that's quote this didn't have the correct 
reference. Okay, I think there was one that had a, um, a reflection question that had uh, like too many lines and I needed to adjust that box up. Okay, this would be a good, a good example here. Like my frame is too, it's not taking into account where the mandala is on the left. Like if I turn my frame on. Okay, so now I can overwrite it on just this one page if I want to do that by hitting, uh, by control shift and click. It lets me do that. It, it activates the, um, the primary text frame set on that master page. But I can also, because if it happened here, since I have so many of them, since there's like 60 different entries, yeah, see, it happened there. So this is something I want to create or I want to manage at a top level of the design, not at an individual level, not at a page level. So I'm going to go back to my master page, and I'm just going to take this text frame and slide it over here to where there's enough clearance. Okay, now that's going to adjust it for all of the pages that had that frame applied. So you can see now, which it didn't matter there, but let me keep going and we'll see the pages that it did impact. I should have wrote down a page number, but I didn't. Oh, I think this was one. Okay. So we had a couple. Okay, that one as well. So you can see how that would save time, effort, and energy but you have to know what you're doing. I mean, that's, you You have to have a complete understanding of how master pages, primary text frames, and paragraph styles work in order to use the system correctly. Okay, so I hope that was helpful. From this point on, I'm just gonna be, I'm gonna go back through, I have some other design work I need to do, and then I'll go in and make any adjustments that I need. If I need to adjust at a paragraph style level, like say maybe I want this to be centered, like uh, it looks great for a single line of quote, but unless I want to hand touch every single quote to uh, for the typesetting to break it, like this really needs to be broken. One of the greatest feelings is accomplishing something that you once thought was impossible. Sorry, I was thinking ways to break it. One of the greatest feelings is accomplishing something that you once thought was impossible. Okay, so to say, I may still keep it right aligned, I don't know. But if I wanted it to be centered, I'm probably still gonna have to touch it anyway, uh, these long quotes, because they're, they're not going to intuitively break where it makes the most sense as a typeset but I can go into my paragraph style. This is the long way. You can edit it and apply right from the page, but I just wanted to show you. And then the long way is always great because the long way is always gonna work. A shortcut might not work. So I, I personally like to show the long way and then I'll make the decision about the way to skin the cat later. Okay, so you can see here I've centered it, which centers it for all of the um, quotes because they all use that same paragraph style, but I still need to go in and typeset that. So uh, that's just a, I'm gonna undo it, set it back to, uh, to right aligned. But anyway, I hope this gives you some insight on ways that you can work smarter, not harder. I have so, so much, so much more I wanna share with y'all. We're um, in the process of moving, so I'm, I'm trying not to make too many videos because I'm in my bedroom, but I mean, after 2020, everyone's working out of their bedroom. I had to give up my beautiful office downtown, but we'll be in uh, Melbourne, Florida at the end of March. I have my own office. It's bright, lots of sunlight. I, I've got special art selected. I can't wait to get it decorated and be in a creative space. So bedroom's great, not my creative space. <laughs> All right. Thank y'all. Goodbye.